friends and welcome to vlogmas day six holy moly i can't believe that we are now six days into vlogmas it is crazy um december usually goes by in a blur but when you're doing vlogmas it's like super high speed fast forward <laughs> it has become a routine of shooting editing posting shooting editing posting and whoo it is a whirlwind but i'm having the time of my life i'm enjoying all of the advent calendars i know that you guys are asking for certain details around the wine advent calendar so i started adding that to the to the description bar so make sure to check down in the description bar and also i try and link everything that i use so i will have everything that is still available linked in the description bar down below all right, well, let's go ahead and let's talk about the coffee of the day. Okay, I need to find day six. Where is it? If you can see the dishes, I apologize. I have not had a chance to do the dishes in the last day or so. Um, okay, so here we go. All right, this coffee is, it's a Barista Creation Bianco Forte. Oh, this one. Okay, I have tried this one. But yeah, this is a good one. It's a nice, strong coffee. Um, so yes, it's going to be delicious. So let's go ahead and get coffee going. All right, so here we go with the coffee. Mm-hmm. Nice and strong. Love it. This one is actually quite mellow for being so strong. Uh, but I do have to add a lot of creamer to it because otherwise it does get a little bit bitter. And uh, so as long as I've got enough creamer or this is actually the type of coffee that I would have added milk with a syrup, but I just am not in the mood for that today. I'm tired. Vlogmas is starting to catch up to me. I am feeling like I am running a marathon and the marathon is only one third of the way through. So, or one third, no, one fourth of the way through because it's 24 days and I'm at day six. So, um, yeah, I am exhausted, but that's okay. I'm loving it. I'm having a good time. I think you guys are enjoying it and I'm enjoying trying a new coffee or, you know, a different coffee every day. I have my mince pie. I am very sad because I have gone through my first packet of mince pies. I only have six left. I'm going to be very, very upset when I hit that last mince pie. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my coffee with my boo. And I will talk with you guys in a little while. I've got a nail appointment. Um, it's a Manny and Petty. So that's where we're headed off to now. I use dip powders on my fingernails. So I don't ever take a nail polish in for that. But it is time to change into the festive colors. But for my toes, I'm going with a classic. It's a kale polish, not the uh, lights lacquer. This is the Zodiac series that Kathleen put out. And this is Scorpio. But I really like it because it's a nice deep dark red. Um, and it's also fitting for the season because it's got a lot of really pretty gold fleck in it. So I'm going to do deep red on my toes and probably some kind of sparkly bright red on my nails. Um, I'll be sure to show you guys. Right now my nails are so overgrown. And I did them orange glitter um, for Thanksgiving, but it is time to change them out. Um, they're so overgrown and uh, I managed to break a couple. I mean, you know, mess around with the nails underneath them and so probably going to end up having to put tips on a couple of these but anyway that's what we're doing right now and uh, editing for uh, day five is coming along very quickly so I'm really pleased about that um, since we've got so many activities planned for the day but anywho that is what we're up to at the moment and I will check in with you guys later are done got my Christmassy red let me cover my eyes so that you can see that beautiful beautiful it's like even though it's dip powder it reminds me of China glaze ruby slippers it's so pretty and glittery and just festive so manicure is done pedicure is done we're gonna grab some lunch on the way home man my eating has been crap since before Thanksgiving the week of Thanksgiving 
I need to rein it in, but for today, I think we're gonna have some fast food on the way home. We're headed home, um, making a quick pit stop, and I guess I'll talk with you guys later, bye. All right, so um, I just got done with the final cut to um, tomorrow's vlog, and I haven't shown you guys the wine of the day yet. I haven't even done this yet. So here's the plan that we're we're concocting for consuming these wine bottles. We're gonna split it. Angie and I are gonna split the wine um, so that that way I don't have to drink two full glasses of wine because maybe I'm a bit of a wine lightweight. I can do cocktails like nobody's business, but wine is different. So anyway, let me show you bottle number six. Okay, what have we got today? Oh, we've got a white, another La Pluma. Ooh. A Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, I will have this or we will have this while I am cooking dinner and then the Pinot with dinner. All right, let's look up the La Pluma Sauvignon Blanc. And La Pluma, if you're not familiar, means the feather. It is a 2019 from Lake County, California. The tasting notes are smoky grapefruit and tangy citrus. Awesome. All right, well, the Sauvignon Blanc will be consumed while we are cooking and the Pinot will be consumed with dinner. I've been watching something, or we have been watching something on Discovery Plus. We subscribe to Discovery Plus and we get the Magnolia Network with it. And I really like the shows in the Magnolia Network, actually. They're all really well done so far that I've, that I've watched because it's more about storytelling and less about like, you know how Food Network does competitions and things like that. And HGTV has been nothing but, you know, either flipping houses or selling houses or buying houses. So the Magnolia Network is a little bit more well thought out and a little bit, it's like I said, it's more storytelling. Anyway, watching this show called The Lost Kitchen, it's a favorite, I love it. And it's really interesting. It's about this restaurant in Maine, in Freedom, Maine, where you can only make reservation by sending in a postcard and you have to be selected by lottery and it's a random lottery and uh you know you go there for this experience in dinner i saw her yesterday when we were watching it last night after we got home she made a hamburger and was having some red wine with it and i'm like that sounds fabulous so that's why we're having hamburgers today all right i'm gonna go ahead and um, set you aside because it's almost time for us to get ready for the cruise it is rainy but it is very very cold and by very cold i mean under 40 degrees so i think we're going to be at probably well, we're 39 here, but we're going to be on the water. And so it's going to be probably at least at least five degrees chillier on the water. Preparations and everything, they say to dress casually. So I'm not going to dress up. I'm not wearing heels or anything. I'm just going to dress down, but dre definitely dress warmly. So I've got to go get ready for that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go because I've got to put the finishing touches on tomorrow's video before we go. Okay, outfit for our little excursion. Because we're going to be outside some of the time, I am wearing one of the coziest sweaters that I own, and that is this Fair Isle sweater that I got from Amazon. I've worn it once before, and even right now wearing it, it's a little bit toasty, which means it's gonna be perfect on the boat. Pairing it with my black wide leg pants from Eloquy. I do have them hiked up a little bit to bring the length up. And then because we need to be comfortable, I am wearing my, <clears throat> my sparkly Skechers which sadly are no longer available and I should have bought a backup pair when I had the chance but anyway um, just to add a little bit of sparkle for the season but comfort as well my makeup incredibly minimal I'm gonna put lip balm on I use lip smackers lip balm is my favorite and then for earrings I just put on a pair of my pearl cluster earrings uh, that I got from Target earlier this year because I have to wear a mask and I don't wanna to have to fuss with earrings. So I'm in a hurry, I'm gonna run downstairs. I'm gonna be wearing a little palm hat and scarf that I got from Amazon, I showed that one. It's the gray one with the black palm on it. Um, and then the scarf that matches it and my black trench coat. So I'm gonna run downstairs because we are running a little late. We are very thankful to be able to bring this tradition back to Seattle. It has been an amazing experience so far, and we are looking forward to the rest of the season. So thank you all for joining us.
this is editing Aurelia and I just wanted to hop in here and close out the video because well the footage that I had for closing out the video just wasn't very usable there was a lot of background noise it was very distracting I don't know that I told you this but we took a Christmas cruise that's what you guys saw sadly the a lot of the footage that I had was not usable because the boat was moving it was cold it was windy it was raining so a lot of the footage that I have was not very good I salvaged what I could to show you guys the experience it was a lot of fun it was really cold but still a lot of fun I wish that maybe we had taken the afternoon cruise instead because you would have been able to see a lot more but um it was good. We did try the Pinot Noir. It was very delicious. Um, I split it uh, with my partner and it was your Pinot, your typical Pinot Noir. You know, it didn't have the jamminess or the berry cherry kind of flavor that you get with Cabernet, uh, with a Cabernet, but it was still very delicious. We had it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You'll see that, you know, we're going to continue with the wine advent calendar, trying to catch up from our two days that we were out. But anyway, um, I guess that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.